Hey, my name is Paul Kim, and in this video, we're going to be talking about drip action in workflows. Okay, for those that's been around with Go High Level for some time, you know that in order for you to set drip action for certain uh, execution, you have to do it at the very beginning uh, when you're uh, doing these bulk actions by sending, whether you're sending email, sending a uh, text message, uh, sending um adding them into workflows, uh, campaigns, um, you have to set them up at that time. But now with the ability to have these drip actions in workflows, it gives you more flexibility. And I believe it really improves the way that you can uh, set up these workflows. Uh, prime example, this is my first time utilizing this drip action yesterday for one of our customers um, because she wanted to do uh, do some cold outreach to some local people in her uh, sphere of influence. And um, and I suggested to her to do, rather than trying to call, call them, rather send them a voice drop and then send, follow up with a text message and then call them. So we executed that for her yesterday. And as a result, she got uh, great success. Let me share with you the uh, the conversation that I had her uh, with her on Facebook, I asked her, "Hi, Christine, how is your campaign going?" And she replied, "I booked two appointments today, and a couple of people asked me to follow up next week. Uh, one person said that the voicemail was in person, and I asked to the ND. Right? You're gonna get that. Overall, it was a success. That's what she um, she wrote. It is a success. So um, I know firsthand this." It was the help with the help of this drip action. So let me, um, you know, let's go to the screen and I'll show you uh, an overview of the uh, the workflow that we executed for her and um, how we were able to do it with uh, drip action. All right, so we're going to start off with a uh, blank workflow, right? Um, we're not going to add a workflow because uh, in this particular situation, um, she added bulk added them into this campaign. Uh, just got to name this campaign so that it's you know recognizable so that you know how to uh, you know to add them into the workflow okay so in here the first action we're going to do is uh, called drip action so uh, as you can see it's still beta right and so we're gonna add it in drip mode now this is where um, you have to decide you know how many bat what's the bat size right um, we were running a voice drop campaign and my opinion is that with voice drop especially with the the carriers nowadays being very uh, suspicious of every activity we decided i suggested to one per minute um so that way you can drip it you know one voicemail one email one um text message at a time uh so we set it to one now if you're sending out an email um my uh, my my uh, my uh, you know suggestion to my clients is uh, typically if you have a new um, lead connector or new you know uh, email account you want to start warming it up so I would suggest maybe a hundred and then double it to 200 300 now depending on the number the the size of your list um, you know I've worked with clients that have um, you know, tens and twenty thousand, tens of thousands of emails. Um, so you want to kind of work it up for that amount where you can send it all at once, right? So in this case, we'll set the one batch per one minute. Now, the drip interval um, is the lowest is one minute and up to seven days. Okay. Um, for more information about uh, how to utilize drip action, I did put a, uh, a link in the description so you can go check it out for more information. So what we did was we set up the drip mode and then thereafter we put in the email, we put in the delay, uh, and then we put in the um, the, uh, the voicemail drop. As you can see right here, voice, uh, voice drop is voicemail, right? And you would um, add the voice drop this is a test and then thereafter we'll send the text message to follow up and then she called um, the people and as a result of that she got two bookings today which the campaign we ran yesterday all right so it was a success and so this uh, with the help of this drip action she was able to really um, I was able to help her with uh, getting a good a success rate for her campaign
So as you can see, um, having the ability to put in the drip actions in the workflows gives you better flexibility, more control over your actions, um, and as a result, better results. All right. So thanks for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you in my next update on some of the new features coming out with uh, Go High Level. All right. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.